Police and protesters clashed in Senegal's capital, Dakar, as unrest picked up again one day after a jail sentence for opposition politician Usman Sonko sparked some of the deadliest violence in the country in recent memory. Here now is the report. Senegalese troops were deployed on Friday as Dakar braced for more unrest. After a jail sentence for opposition leader Usman Sonko sparked one of the deadliest days of violence in the country's recent memory. Nine people were killed in clashes between riot police and Sonko supporters on Thursday, after he was sentenced to two years for corrupting youth. The verdict could prevent Sonko from running in elections next year, and the opposition says it was politically motivated. Security forces patrolled streets that were quiet, but strewn with burned cars and debris. Large groups of students were bussed out of this Dakar University campus, which became the epicentre of Thursday's violence. Student Aliyun Ndaye took part in protests. It split our hearts, which is why we demonstrated. Tension was also very high because the students ransacked almost all the important places in the university. The facility of law was also affected because they said it had no reason to exist. Since the judges have been corrupted, even though it's here that we learn all the laws and the rules of justice, if these laws are not applied, the students have decided that this facility has no reason to exist. Months of protests have been sparked by Sonko's court case, as well as concerns that President Macky Sall will try to bypass the two-term limit and run again in February's elections. Sall has neither confirmed nor denied this.